Well, hey, Pipers. Welcome back to the Bass Piper channel. I uh, just got back from a walk and uh, been doing my walk, as y'all know. I've been trying to drop a few pounds, and uh, I am down 21 pounds and uh, in two months. So we're not doing too shabby. And, uh, of course, I can't base it on this weekend. I really blew it. Uh, and today, with the sodas and some desserts and things like that this weekend, that wasn't part of the regiment. So I guess that'll show up tomorrow when I get on the scales. <laughs> so I may have only lost, I'll be back then only losing 18 pounds instead of 21. But uh, anyway, everything's going good with that. And uh, we thank the Lord for the pounds we've got off. i got a few more to go, though. And uh, we're just taking it one month at a time. Um, I got on here uh, tonight just to, uh, you know, all, uh, you know, you guys know I got a new uh, pipe from uh, Eric Weaver, um, Sea Smokes uh, Pipes, and I forgot to thank uh, his wife for that beautiful sock. I got a um, text from Eric and uh, a nice comment on my video. And he mentioned the fact that his wife, Mrs. Weaver, um, makes the pipe socks that the pipes come in. And uh, I just want to say kudos to her. And Eric, if you see this, buddy, I, uh, I'm sorry I didn't mention that uh, on my video, but they're beautiful socks. And she really has a talent. I didn't know she was a quilter uh, and also a professional seamstress or sewing person and uh so she does a knockout job with those socks man i appreciate that and um and eric again you did a fine job but if anybody uh hasn't looked at sea smokes pipes and pottery go over on youtube and check out eric's channel and um he uh <clears throat> is an outstanding artisan and uh we got a lot of them in the YTPC, believe it or not, and uh, I wish I had half of the talent, but I don't. And uh, I bought a lathe a few years ago, and uh, let me show you something here while I can do it without messing it up. Can you see it over there? Now that was part of my shop. I got a little jet lathe, and then if I can turn it, if you can see it, between the pipes and stuff, or the over here you might see a drill press in there somewhere but anyway I was going to try my hand at pin turning and um, I'm still waiting to turn my first pin <laughs> life went south on me and uh, with mom and dad situation and everything going south with me uh, with my job situation, and it's still sitting there waiting for the first uh, pin to be turned. <clears throat> I got all the goodies in the back to make one. I just gotta get in the motivation to start turning and learning to turn uh, some of those things. But I can just imagine what's involved with a pipe. Um, I wish I had the talent. I wish I had somebody close enough that could teach me and show me. I think it'd be a cool hobby. I wouldn't be looking at it as trying to make money off of it, but I would be. It would be nice to be able to turn your own pipe, so that would be pretty cool. Um, but anyway, I just want to take a few minutes and say uh, thank you, Mrs. Weaver, for those socks, and uh, keep on doing those. And Eric, you're doing a fine job, buddy. And I look to buy some more from you down the road. I want to also look at maybe getting a Jason Mouton uh, uh, pipe as well and uh, some other of the artisans out there um, have to stay within a certain price range and you guys kind of fit that as you know i bought a david mcclary pipe uh, for christmas and he, he has a good price range that uh, you know that 150 to 250 range 260 range that's a good little range for me personally uh you know can i buy a thousand dollar pipe yeah do i want to no so it's it's a matter of uh, not to say that they're not some nice pipes out there, but uh, I don't have the deep enough deep enough pockets to justify for Mama to go in about and drop a thousand, two thousand, three thousand dollars for a pipe. Um, 
and I'm sorry, guys, if I make anybody mad. I mean, I'm a preacher, so I'm used to, you know, it comes with the territory, you ruffle feathers. And um, I've done many of those behind the pulpit, believe me. And, um, but it is what it is. This is my belly button opinion. Um, what I've heard, what I've seen, whether you spend 5000 or whether you spend 250 or 300 if the hole is drilled down the center, it's got a good opening, it don't make any difference to me. I'm just not gonna drop the money on it. But um, not to say that there's no, some that's not good, but you know, pipes get out there just like you do with suits and clothes and shoes and, you know, whether you spend $800 on a, a your, your woman spend, spends 800 to $1,200 to $2,000 on a pocketbook versus $150 on a pocketbook. It's a pocketbook. And so, uh, so it's, uh, <laughs> you know, so anyway, that's just me personally. It's my belly button opinion. I don't need no you know, fan mail, but, um, you know, I, uh, I like the price range, the Boswell, uh, Eric, uh, his price range for his pipes, David McClary range. They're good. They're good price ranges and you get outstanding looking, looking pipes. Now, can you get some that's a little fancier with all kinds of hoops and loops and twirls and twists and all that? Hey, if that's you, that's you. And Hey man, praise the Lord, man, go for it. But um, this is just base piper talking here. I just uh, I just like to stay in that kind of a price range when I look at a at a at a nice quality pipe. But I got a cabinet full of just regular hundred dollar pipes and uh, you know eighty dollar pipes and Savinelli's and Rattrays and you know, five dollar twelve dollar Missouri Mearsham pipes, you know. So. Um, just wanted to get on here and say thank you, Eric. Good job, buddy. And a great pipe, and I'm looking at breaking it in here this week. And uh, But I just want to get on here and uh, just say, hey, I, I appreciate the pipe and the sock. <laughs> Y'all did a great job with, with that. But um, I, uh, I've just been thinking over the last few days, you know, on just what to do with... Uh, with my channel and um, I'm, I'm still trying to decide whether I'm gonna maybe add some other things to it. Kind of been praying about it and uh, figuring out what I wanna do and uh, if I wanna get in to start doing some um, tobacco reviews, things of that nature. But the more I think about that, there's a thousand different tobacco reviews going on out there. And um, so I, I just don't know. Um, I might just keep it like I got it or just try to find something with a different different twist or flair uh, to the channel. Uh, I wanted to start getting back, and I'm trying to do more videos and things out here, I'm trying to at least do one, maybe at least one a week or, or two a week. But um, anyway, uh, just want to get on here and uh, give another shout-out to Eric. Like I said, if you haven't been by his uh, Etsy store uh, or even his channel, check him out. He's got some nice pipes. He does some good work. And um, like I said, we've got a lot of guys in the YTPC that does excellent work and uh, and at good prices. Um, that was one of the things. That was one of the things that I noticed when I go to the pipe shows. I'm talking about expensive pipes. <sighs> smokingpipes.com they are they are famous at these pipe shows and I know some of y'all have noticed this when you go most of the time a lot of times and I have to say they don't bring some Savinelli's but everyone especially the Richmond show I go to they've got artisans out the yang yang and I mean it's just, you know fifteen hundred two thousand dollar pipes laying all over the table I'm going man we must have a lot of rich people to come to these pipe shows because uh, I'm going where are the you know where are all the just the, the basic, you know, 80 to, you know, $200 pipes. And uh, there's a few, but there's not a lot. And it surprises me that they would come out the pipe shows with a more variety of the artisans than it seems like they do with the regular stock. But, uh, but anyway, that's their game and that's good. While I'm on here, I wanted to talk about something. Um, I'm looking at these Karibi, I think it's called Karibi lighters. And um, 
I think it's a K-I-R-I-B-I, -I, I think is how they spell it or whatever. It's a Japanese lighter. If any of you guys have got any of those, drive it down in the ash hole if you would. Um, what you think of them? Uh, I think you can pick them up for like 80 bucks, something like that, uh, $84, whatever. They're a little bit cheaper than the Petersons or the uh, I Am Coronas. So just let me know um, what you think about it and give me, uh, give me your opinion on that and um, let me know what you think. And uh, I'd like to get your opinion on that if you all have done or have bought any of those. So I appreciate you. Um, there is somebody coming into my video. That is Sweet Tater going around and she is stealing the jug of water and she's leaving us. Um, <laughs> But let me know um, what you think of it. Uh, I'm looking at maybe getting one just to have a, a nice, you know, just a smaller lighter. I know they make the little shorter ones and they make the, the bigger ones, but um, just one that I could use for an everyday carry. I, I hate to have to take around a hundred and some dollar lighter just to knock around on an everyday carry, but um, I'd rather go with a little bit cheaper version. Or some of y'all might know of some that's like that in a soft flame. Um, butane type setup that I might could look at uh, that y'all have tried and works and uh, I use the Bix you know and things like that and uh, like a lot of y'all do but I'd like to try to find one that's a little more I, I wouldn't mind knocking around or if I dropped it I wouldn't have a spell over it when you when it hits the concrete but uh, it's kind of like smoking a, uh, a corn cob versus a $200 briar and it hits the concrete but um, let me know and uh, give me some ideas on that or what you think. All right, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. Enough ranting and, and raving on, on different things. But, um, uh, again, Eric, thank you, buddy, for the pipe. Great job. And uh, kudos to your wife with those socks, man. And, uh, listen, we'll talk with you later. We'll come back sometime next week, start breaking in a couple of those new ones that I got and um, kind of share that with you all. Y'all have a good rest of the weekend. Base Piper, talk with you later. Bye-bye.